You are watching With a Cup of Tea, a production of This House of Books, an independent bookstore cooperative and tea shop in downtown Billings. Now, here's our show. Welcome to This House of Books. Today we have with us Jamie Debris, author. We're going to talk about one of her books, The Biker's Winch. We're going to talk about the book in just a bit, but first, tell us a little about yourself. Yeah, so I am a Billings native. I was born and raised here. Um, I did spend six months on the East Coast when I was 12 or 13, and that pretty much cemented the fact that I wanted to stay in Montana. <laughs> um, there's way too many people out there for me, but uh, it was a very a very good time in terms of learning the history of the U.S. and, and really falling in love with that. Um, I started writing in high school, and when I was 15 or 16, I went to my parents and I told them, you know, I, I want to be a writer. And my parents looked at me and said, great, what are you going to do for money? <laughs> <laughs> so um, I, I went to college, I got a degree, and my degree is actually in history. Um, and then I got a job with the county shortly thereafter um, doing their websites. So I was a web developer for 16 years and and then about four years ago, I, I moved over into the database position with County IT. Um, but so, um, yeah, I, I published my first book about 10 years ago, a book named Tempest, or called Tempest. And uh, I've been writing ever since. I try to stop every once in a while because I don't have time or I'm tired or whatever. And I can't. I always come back to it. So that's kind of my story. <laughs> Biker's Wench is in the romantic genre. I think this is a book that's likely to stir up a good bit of libido. Uh, <laughs> that's putting uh, it very nicely. <laughs> tell us about the book. You know, it's the story of Monica, as you know, and, and her father is one of those wealthy rich guys that we all love to hate, who wants to push her into a, a relationship with a man that she doesn't want to marry, she doesn't want to be with. and. So she runs and <clears throat> this is, you know, where the fantasy comes in. She finds herself at an adult playground, um, a, a fantasy ranch, so to speak, where, where it's, it's, it's meant to make your fantasies come to life. And she figures she can hide there because nobody's gonna expect that she, that's a place that she would actually end up. So she ends up there, um, her father ends up finding her, um, and then things just get kind of worse. Um, her boss is kind of a save the world tough guy. You know, he's the bad boy. He doesn't want a relationship, but he wants to do the right thing. He has his own baggage, but he really wants to help her out because that's the right thing to do. And I think that's, that's part of the fantasy that, you know, as women, we often have that fantasy. You know, we want to run into a guy who's, who's uh, tough and, and bad boy, but he always wants to do the right thing because nobody wants a true bad boy. That would just be dangerous. So, um, so they kind of work out an agreement and uh, then things just get really bad from there. So I, I had a lot of fun writing it. I, it's a little campy in spots, but I don't mind that. You know, that's kind of that's how my brain works. I try not to censor myself too much when I'm writing. I censor myself a lot in real life. Um, I think we all do to some extent, but um, I try not to censor myself in writing and I try to write what I like and I don't really think about it as I'm writing. I just kind of write what comes next, what seems like is natural to come next in the story. And that's what I did with this one. And I really like how it turned out and, and where it went because it ended up it ended up exploring some deeper things that I wouldn't have thought if I were plotting to put into the book from the start. So they just kind of happened. And um, I really like that. that. That makes me happy and it keeps me writing. Can you give me an example of something like that? Um, it, like there's, there's part of the storyline without spoiling too much is that you know her father's involved in some things like human trafficking and and that is not something i would ever have thought to put into 
basically a fun romance novel, even with a little adventure, you know, I wouldn't have probably thought to explore that. But when it happened, it seemed like a natural progression of the story. So I just kind of went with it. And well, uh, I was interested to see where it turned out. What audience um, did you have in mind for this book? People who like romance novels. Um, as, I, as I wrote along, I realized that it's not just people who like a strong romance or people who, who like that bad boy, good girl connection. Um, who would enjoy it. It's really anyone who would enjoy an adventure novel. Um, and obviously, as you said, it's pretty steamy. <laughs> so, you know, anyone who wants a good steamy adventure romance, you know, it's kind of got it all. And, and who doesn't mind a little campiness because I try not to take myself too seriously or my books too seriously. And so if you're the type of person who's gonna look at every little detail and say, oh, that's wrong, oh, that's not right, you know, whatever. This book is not gonna be for you because I don't do a lot of research and I don't use a lot of real uh, locations or anything like that. I make it all up, so it's all in my head. It doesn't actually exist anywhere. And uh, it's just for people who wanna escape for a little while and just wanna get lost in a, in a good story. Well, I think there's value in that. <laughs> Thanks. So there's uh -huh. one question I want to ask. Um, you were a member of the bookstore. Why did you join? Well, that's actually very appropriate for, you know, Bookstore Romance Day, which is, which is what we're doing this for. And um, I find the very notion of a small independent bookstore very romantic. Um, I love the idea and now the reality of a place where I can not only browse and buy books because I, I love that environment, obviously, but also a place where I know that when I walk through the door, um, whether it's to shop or attend an event or get information or whatever, I'm among you know our people. I'm, I'm with other book lovers, people who love learning and sharing through stories just as much as I do. And I think that's really important to have and foster in any community. And I want to support that as much as I can. So that's why I became a member. Thanks for joining us. I really appreciate it. And, Thank uh, you for having me. This was fun. This was a good, good thing. I'm glad I did it. I don't usually do events. So, so this was a good thing. Glad you did. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Have a good one. Thanks. You too. This has been a production of This House of Books. If you'd like to be a part of the cooperative, please visit thishouseofbooks.com slash get involved.